Tax TV, thank you for joining as ever. So, it's confirmed Daniel Stendhal has left Barnsley Football Club. Um, I think it was pretty obvious last night that this were all going to come true in the morning when we all woke up out of bed to this news we didn't want to see. Sadly, we've got to. Um, I'm gutted. Really, really gutted. I think it's, uh, frankly, a bit disgusting what's gone on at my club at the moment. There's newspapers talking around sacked after 10 games without a win. I don't believe Daniel Stendhal was sacked. I believe he was, he's walked, maybe forced to walk. He's done what he can. He's done his best with this club. He can't do no more. Let me take you back to Bristol Rovers. If you were there, if wherever you were, if you were celebrating the promotion. Just in October, the same year, we were going to be managerless. We were going to be without Stendhal. Would you have thought that? No. Saw a video of Daniel Stendhal walking into the garrison after we'd been promoted. Shaking hands with everybody, having hugs. So proud of what he'd achieved. And then this happens. I'm, I'm really... I can't begin to describe how gutted I am. When you're head coach, and I'm going to say head coach because that's what he is, but we really should be saying manager, but football's changed, um, goes to you and uh, says what he needs and you don't back him, there's nothing more he can do. There's nothing he can do. He's got to work with what he's got with. This is what he's got. We look at Summer. Liam Lindsay, Ethan Pinnock, gone, sold. One year left on the contracts. Now, in fact, let's go even further back when we went down and brought Daniel Stendhal in. That was a rebuild. And we rebuild, rebuilded the club and got up. We finished second with the one at best defence, as if not the best in League One. We get up. What do we do? <clears throat> what do we do? By Pinnock, by Lindsay. We sold them. Because they didn't want to sign. They didn't want to stay. They've got a year left on their contracts. A year. It's not... Why, why persuade them? Forget about money. I'm not talking about money. I'm saying, stay with us. You can go year after. You can't go into this league with two centre-halves that have never played in England before or got a couple of small couple of games under the belt. It's absolutely suicidal. And then this happens. You honestly expect him. And I fully get what Luke was saying in his video. Mads Anderson, why has he not been picked up by a top team in his league if he's this good? Who's done the scouting? Because from what I've seen of him, he's not. At least yet anyway. And this is what he's had to work with. And why should he put up with that? Why should he put up with that and ruin his CV? People saying, well... Daniel Stendhal, nobody had heard of Daniel Stendhal, this board found Daniel Stendhal. It was another gamble, just like Marais. This one paid off, and ultimately we fell in love with Daniel Stendhal. We fell in love with his football, his enthusiasm on the pitch, everything about him we fell in love with. And that's all been thrown away, and all forgotten about, just like that. Do you know, when I went to interview... Paul Conway and Daniel Stendhal, I was sat in the main reception, Stendhal walked in, Daniel Stendhal walked in, he was hugging everybody. So it was all, it weren't just loved by us, it was loved by people at the club as well. And we've thrown him away, absolutely thrown him away, because I'm telling you, he was a gem. One of the best managers, the best I've, manager I've seen at the club since I've been going. I've been going since 2004, and he's the, been the best. I've seen, by far, enthusiasm, drive, determination, everything on that touchline he had. And it's all been just tossed away. And I'm going to read you a statement uh, from the club, which have 
They've posted, Barnsley Football Club confirms that it has separated from Daniel Stendhal with immediate effect. Adam Murray has been appointed caretaker manager. No idea who Adam Murray is. I think he's under 18's coach. But what? they haven't even thanked him. There's not even a thank you and good luck for the future in that. Mowat's came, come out and done it on Twitter. Mowat said, I'm gutted to see the boss go. Best of luck in your future. Why is that? Why is that statement not thanking him? And that again tells me that he's walked rather than been sacked. Rumours are going around that after Preston game that he went in to him and said, we need to get some players, we need experience. And then three days later he's gone. What does that say? Clearly says, they're not going to change, no one's going to change, you're not getting them. So he's like, well, what can I do then? See ya. And Eki, it was exactly the same with Eckingbottom, and he got slated because he went to Leeds, but he, he, he exactly the same. And there's people saying, bring him home, he ain't going to come back and work under this. God, we're all for youth, young players. We're all for that. But Jesus Christ. And this guy who's under 18s coach who's coming as caretaker says it all, doesn't it? Under 18s, perfect. It's really wrong, in my opinion, what's gone off. And I can't express how good today I am. Well, you can probably tell. And you're probably just as good as me. Throwing a manager away, best unbeaten at home all season last year. Great away days, great results, some great football, all thrown. Because we didn't get the players we needed. And any manager or head coach who's got any sense about him would do the same about that. Walk away because there's nothing you can do. I saw him on Preston on Touchline on Saturday. I feel sorry for the bloke. Saw him at home, feel sorry for the bloke. Can't do any more. <laughs> he can't do any more. There it is, guys, isn't it? Absolutely gutting. I don't even want to begin to think about who'll come, who's going to come in. I mean, people say Mick McCarthy. He ain't going to come. Is Mick McCarthy really going to come and work under this regime? What they've got? It's it's gutting, isn't it? Really gutting that this has had to happen. Yeah, it's it's football two thousand and nineteen. Uh, but uh, going back to the Pinnock and Lindsay thing, you can't go into this late. And then more key for more nineteen goals in League One, salt, not replaced. Or at least not replaced with players who are capable of doing their job. You got three million for Ethan Pinnock. Use it. This league ain't is ridiculous. It's hard. It isn't League One, and we've we've treated it like it's it's not even a class above when it is. Not learned no lessons. Not done anything. We were all buzzing, we were all, oh, a good transfer window, because we brought in so many. How many of them players are actually quality? Or, going to be, and that's the thing, innit? We signed them for future, that's why we're giving long-term contracts out. Well, ain't about that, it's about the here and now, and the way things are going, we could end up back in League One. And I don't like saying it, but it's true, and it could happen. Daniel, if you're watching, this is my message to you, and I would this this won't happen, but I'm sure that I'd well I'd love it to happen, but I'd love to have Daniel Stendhal back on Tykes TV to actually explain, to come out and say what he said, but he 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 won't. I don't think I don't think he will, but I would love to have Daniel on and talk about him, just maybe so I could say a proper goodbye to the man. And thank him for what he's done. Because th that he hasn't been thanked. So I will. Mowat's come out on Twitter and thanked him. Uh, but I'm going to thank him now. From all the fans. Thanks Daniel for this last year. You've been. You were a fantastic 
person, fantastic head coach, your enthusiasm on the touchline, everything, everything I saw in you, you you did worked your backside off for this club. You got results, you got us playing a style of football that was fantastic to watch. And and I'm sorry that couldn't continue and I'm sorry that you lost the players that you wanted to keep and you didn't get the players that you wanted to have. Because things might have been... Well, I'm not going to say might, I'm going to say things would have been different. They would have been different. So it's gutting, Daniel, and I'm so sorry that this is the way you've been treated by the football club. Really am. Best of luck in the future, whether that's back in Germany or another club in England. But... I'm gutted for you, Daniel. I really am. And uh, yeah, all I can say is thank you. That's my thank you for you, Daniel. And I would love to have you on here again. <laughs> really would to actually have a proper sit down and say a say a proper goodbye to you. That's my uh, that's me. I would love I would love to have that and say a proper goodbye to the fans because we're not going to be able to do that. Fans are starting to turn the same. Well, Swans again bring banners, blah blah blah. Has it actually got? Is it really going to get to that? Because I hope not. But this statement says well, this. These actions state otherwise. But I'm, I'm incapable of doing anything else. He's got no choice. The most important thing is the football club. Yes, I get that. But the way some that Daniel's being treated. I mean, why do we think Robbins walked out? And that were nine years ago. What's changed? Nothing. And I go back to James said, when Patrick Crime were here, we knew where we stood. People mentioning oh, financial fair play. We've spent, we haven't even spent <laughs> majority of that money we got in for players and that's how it works. So answer that yeah I'm good I, 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 listen I can't describe how good today I am because I'm I'm really really good today. I'm, I'm it's just not on not on at all so I'm getting out of here guys let me know your thoughts on it but uh, yeah a lot of things going off at the club at the minute that aren't, that aren't pretty uh, fan base getting divided you could say so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And once again, thank you, Daniel Stendhal, for this past year, past year, what you've done for the club. Nothing short of fantastic. So, brilliant. Thank you. God bless Stendhal. See you later, guys.